Now with the dalliance uh, of uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga with uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, both uh, his chances to become president or diminish them. Well, this is the question in the minds of many pundits tonight, even as President Uhuru Kenyatta indicated that he may lead the campaign for the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. And as Murimi Mwangi now reports, well, he is playing mixed politics, that of his predecessor Mwai Kibaki and that of Daniel Moy. If there ever was a turning point in the Independence Party Kanu's five-decade grip on power, it certainly had to be this pronouncement by former president, the late Daniel Arap Moy. Just six months to the polls, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, now as president, has hinted at making a similar political pronouncement. We are interested in continuity. We are interested in continuity of programs like this. And we want to work with people who have that interest. So what does former Prime Minister Raila Odinga's dalliance with the Uhuru political establishment portend for his 2022 presidential ambition? People have argued that if, the proje if Moi's project in Uhuru failed, even Uhuru Kenyatta's project in Raila will fail, they are looking at oranges and apples. Because the two people are different. One has gravitas, one has numbers, one comes with uh, a history. Indeed, one is a liberation fighter. And the other one was a newcomer. Yet recent events in the presumed push by the state for Denga as the preferred presidential candidate has brought out what analysts argue is Uhuru's main political card, a cocktail of frontline and backroom tactics of his two predecessors, retired presidents Mwai Kibaki and Daniel Moy. <laughs> In Moi's case, the self-declared professor of Kenyan politics not only publicly endorsed Uhuru as his preferred candidate, but also actively campaigned for him. In fact, even after Uhuru's 2002 loss, Moi reconciled with Kibaki, the winning candidate, and even campaigned for Kibaki's re-election in a pact that saw Uhuru rise to the strategic post of Deputy Prime Minister in the Government of National Unity following the disputed 2007 polls. Yet despite giving every hint that he supports Odinga, including unleashing all senior cabinet secretaries in his inner circle to Odinga's 2022 campaign machinery. Uhuru has been giving mixed signals of just how far he would be willing to go to fix Odinga at State House, a power play that has also kept in Uhuru's loop all anti-Ruto presidential hopefuls. A tactic akin to Kibaki's last term maneuvers that kept all presidential hopefuls in his cabinet, guessing where his heart really lied between Uhuru, Mudavadi and Kalonzo, who were seen as the main frontliners against Odinga, who was at the time seemingly the establishment's unwanted candidate. <laughs> How do the 2002, 2013 and August 9th scenarios compare for Dinga? President Uru Kenyatta, more than anybody else, is aware of the folly of political projects because he was one and he suffered for it. He was a good candidate, but the people rejected him on the very basis that he was on this project. So more than anybody else, President Uru Kenyatta understands uh, how politically and why it is to create a project. If he is involved in making sure who succeeds him, it is within his own right. If he is doing so because he wants to campaign and air his opinion about a certain candidate, that is within his own right, constitutional right. I see no, nothing wrong in that. The reason why, uh, um, whether he comes for a direction meeting or tour or not, doesn't really uh, change much is because uh, for the last uh, three and a half years, Uhuru Kenyatta lost it in terms of politics. A sitting president, if he's interested in the direction of things, you cannot underrate his influence. In the Gamer community, people of the mountain are waiting for a voice. To tell me that what President Uhuru says will count for nothing, for naught, 
is to show me you don't understand politics. Arambe! But as they say, a single day in politics is a long time. And the six months leading up to the August 9th presidential contest certainly will be ample time for political surprises and upsets alike as the Uhuru succession enters the homestretch. Moremi Mwangi, KTN News.